All right, there we go. Hey, welcome to Mailbag, everybody. Uh, and uh, maybe we'll get joined by Ocean. We can set that up. Checking the camera angles here, kind of making sure that everything is on the screen, more or less, appears to be. Oh, and the, the audio, let me switch that if it's not. Uh, maybe talking to myself. Yeah, I got it. a minute ago now I'm blowing your ears out uh, sorry about that oh, I'm gonna have to zoom out that camera to get the wall up because oh she's up there grabbing things oh that's so cool too wow uh, where does this go oh perfect well you missed her grabbing that stuff but she's still up there that's fun okay well we're gonna go with that for now uh, so hey welcome to mailbag all right uh, first things first, uh, the big news, of course, is that we're expecting a new mom cat this evening. She'll be here pretty late. I'm expecting her to be here about 8 o'clock, maybe a little bit after 8 o'clock p.m. Uh, so, you know, uh, uh, 20 hours, 20, 20 zero, zero on the uh, KATZ clock there on the screen. Uh, that's the plan anyway. If anything changes, I'll be sure to let you know. Um, and then uh, Oshi, who is just here a second ago. Oshi, come here. Oh, she's come here. You want to bring that over here? It's got a plastic. She's got a piece of a plastic plant that she's chewing up. I don't know where that came from. Um, anyway, Ocean's adoption is tomorrow, but it's very, very early tomorrow. In fact, we should do her goodbye wave right now. Although she kind of did her own goodbye wave in the close-ups that I was just doing before the mailbag, which was cute. Oh, she wait, come here. Oh, she, oh she, oh she. Now she runs away. Come here. Come here. Would you do it for cake? I bet you would. She wants to play. Yeah. Come here. She wants to play, and she's talking, she's making funny noises, she's being such a little silly. Uh, okay, she's going to get to play, but first let's do a goodbye wave real quick just to make sure we have one. And uh, when I say real early tomorrow, uh, like 6.30 or 7 a.m., so uh, I'm going to have to get up super early. And I got up about that time today. I'm trying to offset my clock, but it also means I'm super tired. <laughs> um, because not just for that, not just for the adopter tomorrow, uh, but also because next week I have some early appointments uh, starting on Monday. So I just I really want to see if I can get my clock set to uh, deal with that. So, uh, so it's helpful, actually, that the adopter's coming by so early. But it does mean that, uh, first off, um, I'm going to be pretty tired for mailbag. And secondly, it means that... Um, uh, uh, it means something. There was something secondly. Oh, it means that I'm going to be busy today. Uh, I've got to get everything ready for Ocean to go and everything ready for the new mom cat to be here today. That way I don't have to think about it in the morning when Ocean goes. I can kind of roll out of bed uh, half asleep and uh, just hand off Ocean to the adopter. So that's the plan anyway. Um, and I think that'll work out. So it does, it does mean that uh, today's going to be a busy day for me, though. And on top of that, uh, something I was talking about a few minutes before we started Mailbag uh, that I need to mention again now that we're on the record, uh, we're going to set some new just ground rules for, for Mailbag, which is, and you guys know, I don't do rules very well. You know, uh, we just, we, we, anything that's a rule is very flexible around here. Uh, but uh, we're going to just change our default position to doing all the mail in one day to a default position of we're going to do an hour of mailbag on mailbag day. And if there's anything after that hour, we'll take it to the next day. Uh, Sunday, we'll do it. Uh, I think we'll, we'll make Sunday's regular thing a little bit later, though, so that people have time for whatever they might do Sunday morning. Um, if you do anything Sunday morning or if not, you just get to sleep in. Sunday is the one day a week that I typically get to spend uh, like just an extra hour in bed. And I don't want to miss that. So um, so just as a default now, and, and today will be the day that we're going to kind of start that. Uh, we're going to just plan on mailbag being about an hour long. And if there's too much mail for that hour, we'll push it to the next day as a general rule. Now, if I'm feeling especially perky uh, for some reason on a Saturday, you know, I, I'm always going to just bend that rule and be like, we're just going to push right through this. Uh, but today's not going to be that day. I don't think. We'll see. Uh, maybe by the time we get to the end of it, you know, as again, I, I don't we don't stand on rules here, um, but, uh, but we do have defaults. And uh, I just that's that's what the default's going to be. So. 
All right, uh, so we've announced that. Uh, the second thing, uh, the second mailbag related thing I wanna say is, uh, I saw there was one package that was in this pile that was addressed to Ocean. We'll make sure we open that today. And uh, uh, I think I heard from some people that may or may not be the same people that they sent something or other for Ocean. So if you sent something for Ocean and if you don't see me open it, uh, or if you just wanna message me now and make sure that I'm gonna find your package and open it today, great. But I would also say, don't panic about it. Um, Ocean's adopter is flying with Ocean and um, didn't necessarily plan to take uh, very much of her stuff with them in the first place, just the bare minimum. And we're gonna ship the rest. Uh, I, I don't think that they've got much space to take it back. We've had some good luck with some of the adopters that have flown recently. We've had a bunch of flyers, uh, but um, uh, this one is is definitely not going to have that same kind of uh, luggage space available. Most of their luggage space is taken up, from what I understand. Um, the coming here for Ocean was not the only purpose of this trip, so they had to actually pack some stuff, uh, and therefore uh, most of Ocean stuff is going to get shipped to them. We're going to do it sooner rather than later um, and probably get caught up on all the stuff that we have to ship for the prior adopters, which is still pending. Uh, fingers crossed. And um, uh, yeah, so I guess the upshot, what I'm trying to say is that if you sent something for Ocean and it gets here late, or if you sent something for Ocean and I don't open it today, uh, don't worry about it. We're going to be shipping a ton of stuff for Ocean anyway. Um, so most of her stuff is going to get to wherever she's going after she does. And that's fine. Um, although I am going to do the same thing I did for the other adopters and go through all of Ocean's endowments today. That's one of the things I have to do and pull out all the stuff I think that they really should take with them uh, right now. Um, and unfortunately, I think a marshmallow bed is something that, that Oshi could really probably use because she loves that big soft bed thing, but also the kind of thing that's never going to fit in the luggage. But I do have some marshmallow blankets that are quite small, or I might even take one of the marshmallow pillowcases, like the, the rainbow one that's in the other room, and get that tossed in with her uh, endowment. And that's something that's much smaller. In fact, she might even be able to take something like the marshmallow pillowcase in her carrier, even though it's a very tiny airline carrier. Um, you know, and those things are very small. Uh, but uh, fortunately, uh, like most of the other doctors, the airline carriers that we recommend have those sides that fold down to give them a bunch of extra space if it's available. So I know she's got that going for her, which is nice. Uh, she's up on the counter again, looking at her cake. Uh, on the subject of Ocean, um, you guys know that there's been several incidents where she has stolen cake uh, and played with it like a toy. So I saved the last piece of cake for her and it just become uh, crumbs throughout the course of the day. There's cake crumbs everywhere. I'm going to have to vacuum uh, up the cake crumbs that didn't get vacuumed up by her anyway. She's up there right now, nomming on it. Uh, I think she's just going to eat it now. It's gotten small enough that she can eat it. Uh, all right. So that's it. Um, yeah, so the bottom line, uh, MomCat, new MomCat late tonight. Um, Ocean's leaving early tomorrow morning. I am going to be super busy trying to get that stuff ready. And mailbag from now on is going to be about an hour long as a general rule of thumb. So let's get into it and try to see how much of this we can get done uh, before we run out of that time. And we'll start with some of these cards that came in. There's a beautiful Merry Christmas from Ham and Erica. I, uh, uh, that's, a, that's a great name. I don't know if it's the cat or a person's name because Ham can go either way. But Ham is a great name. Oh, I see. Ham is the cat. Okay. Uh, also, a, you know, a classic biblical name. Um, all right. Kitten Academy. I'm so excited to finally be able to get a Christmas card from you. I was always moving. Here's a card of my own with a silly picture of my cat, Hamburger. That's that's so great. You know, DJ loves that. She has been calling uh, our uh, little hogwash hamburger for some reason. I don't even know why, but so you might have heard her saying that. Uh, you say, appreciate everything you do from Erica, who is at Hyrick, H-I-W-R-I-K. That's a name I've seen, um, uh, at Hyrick6703 on Discord. So uh, Erica and Hamburger, what a great name. Uh, I don't know that DJ would name a cat hamburger, but she's definitely nicknamed a cat hamburger. Is this him right here? This looks like a hamburger. Are you a hamburger, buddy? You, you, wanna, you started to kind of, oh, no, you're, okay, you're a bam, bam burger. You are a hamburger, aren't you? Yes, now you feel right. You feel big. 
Yes. And that's hogwash. I don't know how he became hamburger, but I've heard her calling him that several times. Okay, uh, let's keep on moving. This says, okay to read on stream with hearts, and it says, we love Mr. A and Dr. DJ. That's so sweet. I'm going to need the letter opener for this one. Uh, a simple prayer for God's peace to bless you, his love to keep you, and his joy to fill your heart. Have a wonderful Christmas season. And then there's more hearts inside. It says, Chris and DJ, we appreciate you two so much. We love Mailbag. Thank you so much for the positive difference you two make for all the lovely cats and kittens. Oh, 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 okay, you're chewing leaves off of this plastic flower. We don't uh, plant. We don't, we don't need you to do that. No, I'm just going to go in my pocket to get melted in the dryer. Okay, um, let's see. It's uh, Romans 15, 13, apparently, the New International Version anyway. May God of hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace. Then you also say this is uh, from Ellie the cat, Toodles the dog, Israel the human, and Lucy the other human. Well, thank you so much. That is really sweet and sparkly. I like that. Uh, we have another Christmas card here that's uh, got little Christmas stickers on it, including a sticker of a cat wearing a Christmas hat, a uh, Santa hat. Oh, and it's okay. Inside, we have two cats talking to each other near the Christmas tree, and one is pooping out a long string of sparkly tinsel. And the one cat is saying, Have you seen the tinsel? And the other one says, No. Uh, that's cute. Uh, and then inside, wow, it's full of stickers. Oh, it's full of stickers and a second panel of the comic with the, the first cat looking at the tinsel coming out with a uh, very skeptically. It's a very cute uh, second panel. Let's see if we can show that to you. It says, have all the holiday fun you can get away with. And then we've got unicorns and Santa Clauses and even a whale wearing a Santa hat, a flamingo wearing a Santa hat. Those are the ones you don't see every day. And it uh, looks like that card now has been taken by uh, Mayhem. All right. And then there's a note. The note says, hello, Dr. DJ, Mr. A, and all the furry butts, especially Eddie Butt. Just wanted to wish you a Merry Cat Missing Kinetic Cat and a Happy New Year 2023. I thought your Halloween costume was great. How long did you have that in mind? Was it a last minute decision or did you already know in the summer or spring what you wanted to dress up like? What did DJ think of your costume and did DJ dress up too? I really like your new door in between the kitchen and the fireplace room. It was a great idea. Jess and Diane from PA. Well, thank you. I agree. That door is something we should have done so long ago. Uh, and to be fair, I tried, but uh, that doorway is a really weird size, and I didn't want to have to reframe it. Um, and it was hard to find a door that would fit in there. Um, that's actually not even the first door I ordered for the project. <clears throat> in fact, um, the, uh, the volunteers that got to stop over after KA Con, as we do every year for the people that... Um, uh, help put together KA Con. We threw a little after party here for them. Uh, uh, they might recall that the serving table uh, in the garage, because we were doing the social distancing thing, uh, we served all the food out of the garage and uh, the serving table, there was a door. That was the door that I ordered to put here that uh, is still just a door in the garage. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, no, it was a great idea. Thank you so much. Um, I love it, too. It's been the most useful thing and wonderful. It should have been done a long time ago. The Halloween costume, yeah, I dressed up as uh, Tatsuo, the immortal dragon from uh, The Way of the House Husband anime. And um, I don't know exactly when I came up with it, but it was at least a month or two before Halloween um, because it, I had to order, uh, I had to order the, the suit jacket. I had most of the rest of the outfit. And I also had to order a wig, obviously, that would work. But other than that, it's a very simple costume, uh, you know. Oh, and the, the apron, too. I did buy the apron for, like, 10 bucks. Thank goodness Amazon actually has that apron. Uh, and if you just search for that uh, Shiba Inu uh, apron on Amazon, you will find that that's obviously the thing people do with it. And there's just links that Amazon is like, other people that bought this also bought this wig. <laughs> so... So it's pretty easy to put together the rest of it from there. Uh, yeah, but it looked great. I thought it really did look great. For It just it worked um, for me somehow. But I thought. I, I thought it was, yeah, it, I really liked it. It was fun. It was fun to do. It's a character that I really like. I, I really enjoyed that anime. 
I haven't read the uh, the manga of it at all, so I don't know about it in print. Uh, but I watched the the show on Amazon and uh, loved it. And I also watched the on Amazon. There's a live action version. I think I mentioned the live action version though is not about the same character. The the character that's in the live action version is actually in the show. He's a voice actor, and I think he's the same voice actor that does the anime. So that's a uh, weird meta, but it's also very good. Um, and I enjoyed it as well. So anyway, thank you for asking about that. It was really fun to do that costume. I liked it a lot. Um, it's almost a shame that I, I, won't, I probably won't ever have any excuse to wear it again. Uh, okay. Uh, this is very cute with a cute little kitty wearing a, a wintry hat on the front of the envelope. And then inside we have a pen and ink of kittens all playing in a cat tree that's decorated like a Christmas tree. And it says, hi, Eddie. Eddie, come back. Oh, okay. Eddie took off. It says, Merry Christmas, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all the fur babies. Thank you for another wonderful year of kittens and a positive space to get away from bothersome life. I hope your holiday is relaxing and the new year brings more kittens to love. Best wishes, Jacinda and Muta's mommy. Well, uh, Jacinda and Muta's mommy, thank you so much for uh, that thought. And it is something that, um, you know, uh, when we started KA, uh, we really deliberately wanted to make it a place that was sort of free from some of the daily concerns that everybody has, including us. And I feel like the last few years have made that a challenge, um, but it's something that uh, we really need to get back on top of. And I've been doing a lot of work in that direction, and I'm glad that, you know, it still is, is working that way for people. So that's awesome. Okay. For some reason, this is st stamped as non-machinable. Interesting, because it definitely has been machined. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, and inside we have, oh, we have a box of kittens. Whoa. Oh, and a Visa card. Thank you. We have a box of kittens and Christmas ornaments. I see it is a glass ornament box, um, and uh, some kittens have replaced the ornaments, and they're very cute. And it says, uh, may your holidays be merry and bright. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, just a note to thank you for all you do for these precious kittens and, uh, and bring, let's see, kittens... And also, and also bringing so much joy into many lives, a small gift to use as you see fit. Well, thank you so much. This is from Jean, Jean E, uh, we will say. And it is a Visa gift card, which I'm going to put over here so that it gets used and not uh, put away for storage with the cards. And uh, Jean E is also L Blossom, apparently. It says L Blossom on Patreon, but that may also mean on our Discord. I hope. I hope it does. If you are, I've said a million times, if you are on our Patreon and you don't at least sign into the Discord, you're really missing out. You don't have to participate. You can go, uh, in fact, you can make yourself invisible there so nobody even knows that you're online. It doesn't show your name. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you want to lurk, that's great. We, we definitely support it. But if you don't get on the Discord, there's a lot of stuff that we just don't have the time to, to get onto Patreon that, uh, you know, the Discord's sort of the default that we go to. So uh, definitely something you ought to consider anyway. And if you have trouble figuring it out, uh, there are people who will help if you just email headmaster at kitten.academy. Um, they spend a lot of their time. That's mostly Lisa, uh, but a couple others as well. Uh, speaking of, uh, Jamestown is one of the others, and this appears to be Jamestown's Christmas card. That's so great. I'm going to cover up your family name if I didn't already show it a little bit, but look at these cutie pies uh, playing with the Christmas ornaments, and you've also got your cats on the back. Uh, very sweet from our family to yours. That's, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for that. Okay. I'm going to put all the cards right here. That is all the cards. We're going to put the envelopes over here, and we're going to open some stuff. Now, like I said, uh, I saw there was one box, and I don't know where any of this stuff is right now, so we're going to have to take a look. There was one box that was addressed to Ocean, and specifically, oh, I just heard I just heard the boy make his noise for, I think, no reason except he was running. Uh, it's cute. He went, rawr. Uh, okay. Um, I was going to say, there's, uh, there's definitely one box that's addressed to Ocean that I'm going to try to find first, and... Uh, we got a box from Ruth and Bob that I, they had mentioned that they sent it for last week and it went missing. And last week, I, I think I think there's probably a, a bunch of stuff that's in today's mailbag that was from last week. 
We had the new guy at the post office last week, and I think he might have missed where they put some of our mail. I don't know. I, I hope I can find a way to get a really good recording of his noises before he goes. because They're so cute. Um, anyway, so I think there's probably a bunch of stuff that's from last week that's in this mailbag that I'm, I, I just don't have any way to sort out most of it. But I did notice the box. There's two boxes from Bob and Ruth, and one of them is labeled um, as having arrived at the post office this week, and one of them is labeled as having arrived at the post office last week. So um, uh, we can definitely pull that out and make sure we get to that right away, too. The, the first one of them, and maybe we'll save the second one and see if we get to it today or not, uh, naturally. But um, let's, uh, let's see if I can find the ones that I'm looking for, though. And that way we just make sure we get those done today regardless. Okay, it's not in that pile, so it must be over here in this pile, both of them. Right. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. Let's see, 11.26 versus, oh, maybe they both do say 11.26. Well, I just misread it then. Uh, that's my bad. Okay, so there's, just, there's two of them that apparently arrived at the post office both. Um, uh, the day before Thanksgiving, that still would have been last week, but whatever. Uh, okay. Oh, here's the one to Ocean. Okay, right. we're definitely going to start there because that's, uh, well, I'm going to say it's important, but there's a good chance whatever's in here is probably not going to go with her anyway. Uh, but we'll see. You know, who knows? That's not up to me. Uh, let's see. Oh, and I believe I know what this is, too. And I think all of you know what this is, too. You can guess based on the fact that this package is covered in tape. At least if you've been watching long enough. Uh, that would be a good clue to some of you. Yeah, that, uh, let's take a look here. Ah, and it has a very thick and hefty knife guard. <laughs> Ah, now I'm sure I've given it away to everybody. Uh, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, mom, cats, and kittens, greetings. At long last, here is a blanket for Ocean before she sails off to her new home. Also, there's a bag of treats for you, Mr. A. Hope you enjoy from Lily Cat. P.S. Pineapple, poop, lobster, adorable, fragile, Dr. Cat's K.A. Con. Not that I'm helping the bingo players or anything. All right. Well, you wrote it. I'll read it. Uh, somebody probably just got a bingo. If you don't know what that's all about, on Discord, there are people that play. Uh, there's bingo cards that are generated, I guess, based on mostly things that I say, but also things that are often happen during mailbag, like losing my knife. Um, and uh, I've always kind of tried to ignore it so that I don't stack the deck uh, intentionally or unintentionally. Um, but that's uh, obviously somebody can stack the deck, if not me. Um, anyway, this is from Lily Cat. Of course, it is a blanket, a Lily, wonderful, uh, coveted, coveted Lily Cat blanket. Um, and this, wow, and a nice bag, too. Look at that. They're not just solid colors. Uh, ooh, wow. Speaking of not just solid colors, this is amazing. Uh, this has some uh, sort of a cerulean blue. Um, it's got the navy. It's got some greens and, and sort of a mustard yellow in there, too. Very interesting palette, and uh, I think it's beautiful. It's very reminiscent of the ocean. I see what you were doing there. I, I see exactly what you were going for. Uh, that is wonderful and soft. It's exactly the kind of thing that I can see ocean is just going to love, love, love. Um, I know... It's a fact that not every mom cat likes to settle down on soft blankets. Uh, some of them prefer the wooden floor. Uh, some of them, you know, prefer hard surfaces. Uh, but Ocean is not one of those. Ocean loves a big, soft marshmallow bed, a big, soft blanket, uh, that K&H soft bed that I talked about that she loves, uh, that I think is a dog bed. It's huge. Um, so... All of that kind of stuff. I know she's going to love her Lily Cat blanket. So thank you so much for that. Uh, I see you did not write Ocean on the bag like you normally do. Um, and I don't think I'm going to forget who it belongs to by the time it gets downstairs. But I really can't take any chances these days. So I guess I'm going to put it back in the box with your note. And that way uh, that way I have at least a clue if I, if I do get all confused. All right. Which is... I mean, that's my natural state, but there's also a second bag here. It's very important. It says, oh my goodness, Terry's Chocolate Oranges. Now look, they're starting to send these in so many weird things. Now this is the original, Terry's Chocolate Orange, which as you know, 
is orange flavored chocolate that is also shaped like an orange. And I don't know how they manufacture it, but uh, the coolest thing is it's in orange slices. And if you just give it a good solid whack, it falls apart into a bunch of individual slices like an orange, uh, which is, it's fun. Um, so uh, now uh, someone had just sent me some of these because I mentioned how much I love the orange flavored chocolate and these are great. Um, and uh, I was sent ones that were the regular, the dark chocolate and one that had uh, toffee pieces in it, like English crunchy toffee pieces in it and the orange flavor. Very interesting combination. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, that this one is the chocolate orange with popping candy in it, like pop rocks, uh, pop rocks in it. That's new to me too. I don't. Did they, is that a new thing that they started making these crazy stuff inside them, or have they always done that? I just didn't know. Uh, I still don't know. All right, so thank you for that. Ooh, and then we appear to have two of the dark. No, a dog. Here we go. This is the one I'm talking about. So here's the toffee one and the dark chocolate one. So as far as I've ever seen, this is the entire range. If there are other kinds, I, I don't know them. Uh, but the pop-in candy one is new to me right this minute. So uh, Lily Cat, thank you for that. That's, uh, that's so fun. I'm excited to try those out. For now, I'm going to put them right here on your knife guard and slide them over here. And uh, I might have to ask DJ to hide those for a while because I have been through way too much candy. Everybody set for my birthday and Halloween and uh, just generally uh, sending me stuff. And I've been eating it all. Uh, uh, too much, way too much. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, those ice cubes that came in mailbag like the last week or the week before that turned out to be wonderful, soft hazelnut chocolate. Oh my gosh, they're so good. They melt in your mouth uh, and they melt in your microwave. I know because I microwaved a handful of them yesterday and painted them onto frozen Stroopwafel, uh, which is nice because you don't have to wait. The Stroopwafel is frozen and cold and you just put the chocolate on there and it immediately sets. Uh, and then you can eat them. <laughs> and uh, I did. That was really good. It's, I, yeah, I don't mind saying that it's pretty yummy. Uh, okay, so uh, now I've said uh, I wanted to make sure that I got to the box from Bob and Ruth. And I don't know which one now I wanted to get to because, uh, like I said, it turns out they both have come uh, uh, more recently than I thought, or less recently than I thought. I don't know. But let's at least pull one of them over here, and then we can just start grabbing whatever is nearby as we go. Uh, we'll take the smaller one first, all right? Here we go. Let's just move all this stuff over here in arm's reach, and then see what we get from there. Oh, okay. Hey, buddy, what do you think of that packing material, huh? It says not a toy. I don't know if it actually says that, but, you know, they always do. Who is this? This is, uh, oh, this is um, uh, Flim Flam. Hey, Flimmy. Little tiny Flim Flam. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Let's, let's, uh, let's get going here. we got half an hour. Let's see how much we can get through. Uh, so this is, I'm just pulling off the top here until we can dig down to that uh, package. Uh, this is from overseas. It looks like, I'm going to say uh, Poland, perhaps? Um, although I'm, I'm looking for what tells me that, and I really can't put my finger on it. Uh, -choo -choo -choo. Oh, no, and the address I didn't cover up. I was showing all of you. Okay, uh, sorry about that. Uh, I hope it wasn't too obvious. Maybe it's too small to read. That will be my uh, fingers crossed. I didn't see that. I tried. And inside we have, oh, we have a Christmas tree ornament hat. Now, that's familiar. Did this come... I see. All right. This is a drop ship from the manufacturer. Manufacturer. Handmade. Uh, this is from Mishi60 then. I see that name that I did cover up. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it is, uh, wait, I think this is the second one of these we've gotten though, because we had this same uh, Christmas tree cat hat arrive um, in a previous mailbag, didn't we? So maybe there were two of them ordered by Mishi60. I feel like the other one was also from Mishi60, but I don't know that for certain. Anyway, it's got a cute little, I think these are meant to be straps that you would tie to hold it on the cap, but they look cool just hanging down. It's got these little ear holes. And I believe that the one that we had, we put on Ocean and she, she actually tolerated it very well, but she's not within grabbing distance. So let's just see if this little guy will pose for a minute with a hat on. Oh, it's okay, hoodie. Look, your hoodie. This is a hood of a sort. So there we go. Oh, 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 it's too cute. It's too cute. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Falls right off for now because we're not going to try to get it on there too well, but I hope that came out okay. Uh, thank you, Mishi60. That will get added to the Christmas costume box. As I've mentioned, we have a box specifically of Christmas costumes. Uh, okay. Uh, what on earth? This is, oh, Dana BX Crew, I see it says. Dana BX Crew. All right. Thank you. See what Dana BX Crew has sent this time. Hmm. Well, it looks like a card inside a giant envelope inside a smaller envelope. So envelopes all the way down. Uh, let's see. Did we put away the, I believe this is going to be a, a PetSmart gift certificate. That's uh, what I would imagine would fit into something like this. It's a lot of packaging from the PetSmart people then. Oh, uh, oh, there's a note though. Look at that. They let you send a note. That's so sweet. Okay to read on stream. Seasons, greetings, Kitten Academy. Holidays are upon us once again in 2022. It's been an incredible year for KA. Unconditionally caring, loving, and comforting mom cats, kittens, and faculty is not only impressive, but shows there's still goodness in the world. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the crew, Dana, Daniel, Gigi, and Francine. Thank you so much. That is an extremely generous donation to the Academy. I really appreciate it. It says how much it was there. I'm not going to say how much it was, but that is really helpful, and uh, I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, all right. You kids are having too much fun with this packing material, and I want to use this bag uh, to, to put all the stuff in that needs to go out to the, the trash. There you go. Okay, you want to play with it? That's fine. You can play with it. I'm just going to keep an eye on you, okay? Nobody's going out to the trash with it. Uh, we call that the uh, Count of Monte Cristo escape. None of you are getting out that way. Okay, uh, this is uh, actually it's just it's an envelope. I can describe it that way, but the cutest thing is there's a little tiny kitten coming out of a schoolhouse here and outside a pine tree with a star above it. Uh, very cute art. Very tidy handwriting as well. That's some nice handwriting. And let's see here. We can open this without accidentally opening too much. There we go. Oh, I see a newspaper. I like that. Uh, from Oregon. Adventure. Oh, what a perfect newspaper. Look at these guys. Oh, those are some nice. Uh, those are like the harnesses that we get that are made for dogs. And I see the brand name right on it. I'm going to have to look those up. But look at those cats. We got a nice color point here next to his little black friend, and uh, they're wearing uh, these these harnesses that are mesh harnesses. Uh, by the way, if uh, Ocean's adopter is watching, I tried a harness on her this morning. It fit just fine and deactivated her, so we got that covered for you too. Um, it says "Adventure Cats Explore Oregon's Outdoors." How cool is that? Uh, I'm gonna have to look up those harnesses. Like I said, it says uh, Voyager. And, oh, and the caption says Siberian forest cats, Lewis and Clark love to explore the Pacific Northwest. Lewis and Clark. All right, I see what you did there. Uh, that's cute, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. Learn how to take a neighborhood walk, hike the trails, or go camping with your feline friends. How fun is that? Wow, even ride in a canoe. I bet there's pictures of that, too. I can't wait. All right. Thank you so much for sending that. I love local papers, but this uh, may not have been sent just for that reason or even for that reason at all. There's some beautifully wrapped packages here with little, oh, metal tags, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Wow, I haven't seen these tags in quite a while. Aren't those cute? Uh, ditto the other little present, it says, though, so they didn't have to put a second tag on it. That's cute. Okay, but there's also a note, wonderful handwriting to Mr. A and DJ. Uh, it says cats are people too, and there's a cat wearing a uh, like a hamburger, a hamburger, a hamburger. What do you call those hats uh, that kind of have the round top uh, and uh, smoking a pipe? I don't know. There we go. Very cute. And inside we have a wide-eyed tuxy kitty. Oh, he's so pretty. Oh, I've got a couple of him actually. Uh, beautiful. Look at that. Uh, according to the back, it is Cody's widow. Obviously, from the Northwest branch of Ari's family. Yes, based on the eyes. Uh, yeah, the eyes, definitely. Um, uh, let's see. It says, Dear Mr. A and DJ, warmest wishes for a happy Christmas to everyone at the Academy. 
I thought you might enjoy this article about some local feline adventurers and also a little treat or two of a small, as a small thank you for everything you do. One of the delightful things about Mailbag is uh, hearing the uh, cards and letters, cards and letters from so many different places, not just the U.S., but around the world. Having lived in Sweden and Ireland, I'm always hoping to hear from people there someday in Mailbag. I'm sure they're out there. Well, I'll tell you, you have heard. I don't always say where people are from if they don't say, um, but we've definitely heard from quite a few people, both from uh, Sweden and from Ireland. So uh, you have heard it. You just may not know it. Uh, I'm always hoping to hear from people there. Uh, oh, uh, let's see. I'm sure they're there. I love that no matter where we are, we're all connected through one house and connect a cat. This wonderful oasis, not just for the beloved faculty, lovely mom cats, and rascally kittens, but also for us humans that you generously share it with. Uh, yes, it is. it really is a powerful little beacon of love and joy and frequent funny bits, sometimes unintended, and that really matters in the world. I also wanted to say that I much enjoy and appreciate the entertaining micros. The Kahooligans are a joy, and also that you should never feel guilty about doing whatever you need to take care of yourself and also DJ. We're behind you 100%. With huge appreciation, love, hugs, ex-holiday wishes to everyone, oh, and holiday wishes to everyone in the KA community. From Kristen, Shirley, uh, and Foster Cat Abby. P.S. This card is from our neighborhood bookshop. Uh, that appears to be Annie Bloom's books on uh, Capitol Highway in Portland. Annie Bloom's books. Uh, cute, with a little cat sitting there. Uh, oh, it has a, uh, and like all the best bookshops, it has a beautiful resident cat who is called Molly. The woman at the cash register was in a comfy chair, and I didn't realize until she started talking to her lap that Molly had been curled up there the whole time because I could only see her top half. Molly is included in the charming... Uh, bookmark illustration for the shop. I see that. Yes. Stay cozy. Well, thank you. You too. Uh, stay cozy. Thanks for the wonderful card. And uh, I assume I can see this is clearly going to be some chocolate. Uh, I mean, if it's not, that's a really uh, odd way to package something. Let's find out. I love your wrapping paper. I almost don't want to tear it, but uh, it looks like it's the only way. Ooh. Uh, Moonstruck milk chocolate cinnamon. Wow, nutty milk chocolate cinnamon. Moonstruck Portland, Oregon. I love their little logo. Um, and uh, thirty-one percent. So that's a nice milk chocolate there with cinnamon. That sounds delicious. Oh my goodness, that sounds delightful. And ditto over here. Let's see. If it's just a photocopy of a bar of chocolate, I'm going to be so impressed with that joke. Uh, <laughs> Let's see here. It is a fridge magnet, and it says, to do today. Oh, it's a cat that, that's uh, resting his head like Ari does, like Ari has been, but isn't at the moment, of course. Resting his head on the table. Sit and think. Uh, reach enlightenment. Feed the cat. That's cute. That's a cute to-do list. Yes, uh, I'm still stuck on, uh, well, frankly, I'm stuck on number one, but definitely never made it past number two either. Uh, fortunately, we sometimes put number three first around here. Thank you again for that. Uh, I can't wait to, to look at this in more depth and uh, check out those harnesses to see if that's a brand that we uh, want to start stocking here instead of the dog harnesses that we get currently. They do work very well. They look super similar, but there's always they always fit just a little bit weird around the chest part. So uh, it might be cool if we found something that didn't have that just minor, minor little, uh, you know, uh, issue. Uh, issue is strong, just minor little uh, something that could be improved. Yes, there we go. We're going to go with that. Okay. Uh, here is our package from Ruth and Bob, or at least package number one from Ruth and Bob. Let's see what we got. All right. Ooh. Okay, there's a note right here, so we're doing well. And I see some interesting food bowls. Uh, let's see. Well, we'll get into all of this, but we'll start with the note. There we go. Perhaps. Oh, this is a nice card. <clears throat> <laughs> a 
We've seen this card. In fact, I'm pretty almost 100% certain that we've seen this card from Ruth and Bob because I feel almost positive that this came with those amazing, just amazing uh, lavender lemon cookies that they sent us uh, last year. When uh, Last year? This year, when my family was in. Wow, that seems so long ago. My goodness. This seems like an eternity ago. Anyway, it's a, it's a lovely card. That's why I remembered it. It's got a, a cutout of a cat on it. It says, you're the cat's meow. And it's got these little copper uh, bits in it that are uh, loose and, and uh, can be uh, very glittery looking, coppery, glittery. It's beautiful. It says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, Happy Thanksgiving and a happy belated birthday, Mr. A. We hope you had a nice time off, Dr. DJ. She did have a great time off. She's already back to work. And she apparently uh, now uh, is, is going to be stuck at work quite a bit between now and Christmas. Um, uh, not to go too much into detail, but her coworker and uh, peer, uh, so there's just the two of them that are sort of in that same position, uh, is having a baby and has uh, actually like leaving the country to have his baby and is going to be gone, I think, for uh, most of this month. And so she's uh, sort of covering uh, for him and, and, and works long hours anyway. So I don't think any of us are going to see too much of her, including me. Uh, but, uh, but it's for a good cause. So, uh, anyway, she had her time off though, right before that. And that's the best part. The items are, she was getting a little stir crazy too. The items are labeled and if not, they are to use for KA or as you see fit. Love Mama Kahuti and hope she gets a beautiful adopter as I am sure she will. Thank you both for all you do from Bob and Ruth. Oh, this is why I recognize this wonderful card. It says on the back, Made for KA Con 2022 by Julie GG. Well, that explains so much. I love these cards. This is, I think, the third one of the, the Julie cards that I've seen that are like this. And they are wonderful. I love those. So it's, it's a little hard to see, but this front is like a mesh that gives it an extra little, uh, not just texture, but three-dimensionality. But those copper bits are, are just the best. Oh, it's wonderful. Okay, uh, Julie, Gigi, and Bob and Ruth, thank all three of you. Okay, put that over there. And let's see what all is in here. It's quite a bit. First off, we have the, oh, I see. Some of these are labeled for KA, for KA, uh, unlabeled. And then this one has a, a cat attached to it, but it wasn't holding anything. It was just there, I guess. So these are squeeze-up delectables. They're basically churu. Um, but, but they are the, uh, the hearts, I think, brand of, uh, yes, hearts brand of, um, of churu style. Uh, so we've got chicken, chicken, tuna and salmon and chicken and veggies. All right. Wow. The veggies in there. Um, all right. Cats, you know, whatever. We all got to eat our veggies, don't we? Uh, there is, there's more in here though. Oh, there's a fridge magnet that is also a bag clip or I guess paper clip or whatever you want to clip. Uh, you can clip anything. There's no rules. That is also the shape of a cat. Uh, it does have a magnet on the back though, which is fun. Oh, a cat wearing a little bow tie even. Uh, never can have too many of those. Plus we have a pet food bowl. Make mealtime food. Fun, it says. It has a 15-degree tilt to raise the bull body, protect the cervical spine. Uh, at least that's what it says. Very interesting. Oblique mouth designed to prevent black chin. Oh, black chin. Uh, all right. I see it. It says this is for cahoots. It says that on the top. Two of them for cahoots. Uh, so she gets all the special food bowls here. Oh, it's plastic. And uh, I guess this is the top and the bottom like this. So that's nice for her if she doesn't like to tilt her head down too much. She doesn't seem to have too much trouble with that, but we were talking about it during yesterday's close-up um, that I at least have speculated that her head tilt could be kind of some kind of spinal thing. The doc doesn't think so, and she doesn't act like it. Uh, but I still think that the raised food bowls are pretty nice anyway for any cat. So that's really sweet of you to send for cahoots, and I think she's going to enjoy those quite a bit. Uh, oh, okay, uh, that's going to have to sit somewhere where we're doing endowments, which we don't have a space for yet. I knew exactly who was climbing because you had to make a noise about it, buddy. I heard you. Nah. Uh, there's also a cat tree in here, believe it or not. Uh, maybe it's more of a cat scratcher. Oh, for Bamboozle. It's adorable. It's a tiny little cat scratch tower. And it apparently has a, a ball, yes, that hangs off the end. 
And uh, it's got a hook here so you can hang the whole thing up until you're ready to use it, I suppose. Uh, that's interesting packaging. Bamboozle. All right, that's a cute little cat tower. What a cute little picture of a kitty on it as well. Since these are both for endowments, I'm going to, uh, this and the other, I'm going to start using this box for the endowments. We'll put these right in here. Uh, those food bowls are wonderful. There you go. And we will open whatever's next. Bob and Ruth, thank you again for thinking of us. That is really sweet. Okay. All right. Well, here we have one that is labeled a uh, very large Kitten Academy and International. And uh, I think that means UK in this case, but I don't know for sure. Inside, there's a knife guard, but this knife guard just says, hello. <laughs> I like that. I also like this. This is more. Even the, uh, the knife guard, we have a, a cereal here that we do not, as far as I know, have in the United States called Shreddies. Shreddies, the honey one. Well, Eddie's the, the honey one around here. That's too cute. Uh, and we also have the note and a separate Christmas card. Very well labeled everything here. All right, whoever this is from really knows what they're doing. A pro. Oh, we have a ridiculous fat cat here. Looks like a, an acrylic painting, perhaps of a, a very, wow, that's a ridiculous, big, floofy, floof cat. And inside the note, it says, to Mr. A and Dr. DJ and faculty and students, first time sending a few things for kitties and humans to enjoy. We followed K.A. since Port and her babies and became totally hooked. What you do for the mom, cats, and babies is fantastic. Not forgetting the pregnots. Thank you so much for everything that you do for each and every one of them. From Denise, Phil, Adam, and Tiggy. All right, Denise, Phil, Adam, and Tiggy, thank you so much. Uh, this is super cute already. I love the shreddies, actually. Uh, and uh, Avatar, I, you know, I've heard a lot of people talking about Avatar lately. I don't know if that's coincidence. Is there going to be a second Avatar movie, or is this just a really, really old box of cereal? Anything's possible. Uh, let's see here. You also sent a tiny Christmas card that has a kitten chasing shiny snowflakes and shiny paw prints, too. That's very cool. It says, wishing all at KA a healthy Christmas with best wishes at Christmas. Denise, Phil, Adam, and Diggy. All right. Thank you for that. Uh, uh, well, I feel like there was something else in there I wanted to respond to or say. Um, oh, the Pregnots. No, I was just going to say, if you didn't watch, I think it was during, excuse me, I think it was during yesterday's close-up that I was talking about how um, uh, Dawes has been trying to make sure that they, they don't send us any pregnots. They, that I, I, didn't, I don't think I really emphasized how um, the, the people that we work with at Dawes, Michelle especially, seems like, seems like she takes it personally when we get a cat in that's not pregnant. I don't think that it's, it's, it's not that big deal. They're so fun. I love them all. You know I do. Uh, even the not pregnant ones are just fantastic. So... Uh, anyway, she's been really trying to get the shelters to uh, do an ultrasound or something to prove that the cats are pregnant before they send them up. Uh, and this time uh, they sent an x-ray before they even sent a picture of the cat. And I was like, uh, okay, yeah, that's a pregnant cat. Um, any chance we could get a picture of the outside of the cat? <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was funny. Um, yeah, and we did get a picture of the outside, which I posted on the Discord this morning if you wanted to see. Uh, but there's not too much to see in the picture. It is just a big, obviously pregnant tabby cat, kind of like Eddie. So uh, like our shreddies, uh, it is going to be a honey one uh, made, made with real honey. I don't know, those look delicious. I must just be hungry. Okay, um, anyhow, moving on. Look at this. We have a box full of some of the overseas favorites that we have become familiar with over the years. Uh, Ari, in fact, is here for his, uh, his cheese flavored, um, although there aren't any, I'm sorry, Ari, uh, that's, I'm just kidding. Anyway, he doesn't get those very much anymore. Dreamies is what I was going to say. Uh, he doesn't, he doesn't actually get that kind of treat very often these days because we've been trying to move to maybe healthier treats on the whole. And these are great examples of those. Here we have Webox, tasty sticks with salmon and trout. These are little, uh, little like meat sticks, uh, you know, like uh, sausages or whatever for kittens, uh, for cats, which are nice treats to have because you can break them off and uh, give little pieces. 
And also, uh, they're a lot less messy than the Chunu, so we like that quite a bit. We also have a different brand here, Koshida. Koshida brand uh, cat sticks, the same kind of thing though, poultry and liver flavor. Uh, gross, but hey, cats. And then, oh, this is the crazy, we have a Garfield brand cat sticks, salmon treats with Garfield on them. Uh, Garfield, wow, and Jim Davis, um, that's something. Wow, that just brought back a really weird memory of a week end that I spent, uh, I had a consulting job where I was doing all this consulting right, and I remember it was 1999 because a big part of that consulting job was making the Y2K changeover, and I was sent to Studio City to do the Y2K changeover for, um, gosh, I don't even remember exactly who the client was, but I was either in or directly across the hall from Jim Davis's office in Studio City. Uh, I haven't thought about that in forever. Uh, that's the guy who does uh, Garfield, um, if I've got his name right. So anyway, that was a long time ago. I don't know what made me think of that. I guess seeing Garfield just brought that back. That's so weird. Uh, anyway, here we have Koshida treats. These are cat nibbles with chicken and cheese or with salmon. Those are going to be fun. Now, that does look like Ari's kind of thing. Uh, oh, another chicken and cheese flavor, too. And he is kind of the cheese flavored cat. Uh, we might try those on him. Here we have the Webox Licky Licks, which are the Webox version of the Churu uh, Licky Licks. So we've got those in several different flavors. We have a beef flavored Koshida. All right. Uh, not Koshida, the, the Cat Nibbles. Yes, there we go. Cat Nibbles. All right. And it looks like the rest of the box is people treats. Oh my goodness, people treats. All right. So first off, we have the. Cadbury mini snowballs. I know I've mentioned that this is one of my weaknesses. Well, uh, technically not the snowballs. Technically they're Easter eggs, but they're the exact same thing, and they're so good. Uh, we have the Lotus Biscoff milk chocolate uh, Oreo, not Oreo, sandwich cookies. Sorry, Oreos is a whole different thing. Now this, uh, I think I did get some of these, and I ate them already. Uh, so I, I think I have seen this at least once, the Biscoff that are dipped in chocolate. So good. Oh, what a great idea, too. We have some shortbread, but these are cute little uh, triangle shortbreads, I guess. Uh, petticoat tails, it says. Uh, British people have the cutest names for things. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I guess petticoat tails. Okay, no, I can picture it now. It makes sense. I just tend to think about it for a minute. But you're, yeah, you picture like the tails on a petticoat are kind of triangle shaped, right? That is adorable and so British. My goodness. Uh, okay. Then we have Thornton's Milk Chocolate Caramel Crunch. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I've ever had this, but I have had something, uh, a little Debbie, like I think they're called Star Crunch or something here that looks very similar. They've got um, caramel and chocolate and uh, rice, you know, crisp in them. And they're, they're really good. So that's gonna be, I'm sure, almost the same thing. I bet those were set for DJ because of the caramel connection. And I bet I will end up eating them all because that's how things go. Uh, so thank you for that from uh, my waistline straight to you. All right. Um, I don't need to keep the Shreddies advertisement, although I almost want to. It's very cute. And uh, thank you again uh, for all of that. That's wonderful. I'm, I don't know how to organize all of it, so I'm just going to uh, start putting things here and there. Uh, cat treats. This is a lot of cat treats, so we'll put all the cat treats in the box again. And we'll put the people treats over here until we find the right place for them. And it hasn't quite been an hour, so we're going to keep rolling. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, oh, gosh, I wanted to say your names again. And now, uh, I've, uh, I've, now I've, I've sorted everything a little too well, haven't I? Here we go. This is it, right? This is the uh, Denise, Phil, Adam, and Tiggy. Thank you very much. Petty coat tails. All right. Uh, hey, buddy. I've got Hoodwink still here playing in this pile of... Uh, yeah, actual garbage behind me. That's fine. <clears throat> what are you going to do? Okay. Uh, what else can I reach from here without getting up? I can reach this. Oh, I can reach those too. Okay. Let's see how far we get. Uh, this also oversees Royal Mail. All right. Wow. Let's find out. <laughs> Did you guys hear that one? You had to hear that one. It was so clear. What roll? I, I can't do it, but it's what roll? There you go. That sounded pretty close. 
He's got the cutest vocals. I hope he keeps that and keeps making that crazy noise and doesn't just turn into a regular meow when he gets older. So silly. I also heard one of the girls vocalizing when she was running around yesterday, so maybe they're all going to start to do that eventually. All right, this says, the note, yes, okay to read on screen. I love it. And let's see uh, if I can open it. The common cat. It is a cute little uh, cat, and it's labeled. And the cat, by the way, is thinking, common, how very dare you. Uh, okay, so we've got a pointer to the ears that says sound receivers to ignore you with. The mouth is labeled barf exit. The stomach is labeled tum tum rub at your own risk. The feet are labeled curtain shredders. The tail is labeled mood indicator. The, uh, well, star is labeled poop depository exit. And fur is labeled sticks to everything except the cat. That is uh, true and funny and cute. Inside we have a very uh, metal, it is a uh, metal, thank you, look at that. Uh, it's metal in every sense. The font is very metal and it's also shiny silver, like a, like a literal metal. And the note says, dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty and students, I call this my in due time project. As I started to write this, Cahoots was giving birth uh, ably aided by yourself and Dr. DJ. As I finished writing this, the Kukuligans have just been moved to the main room. The local paper, ooh, I'm excited, there it is. The local paper is for your perusal. Um, local, by the way, means the uh, Bishopton Voice. Oh man, I cannot wait to read this. Uh, it does have uh, right on the front page, uh, in memory of Her Majesty, so I'm sure there will be a touching memorial. But the rest of this tone mast row, oh my. Uh, and uh, considering that they are objecting, I guess row means fight, not just a line of phone masts, although it could mean both. <gasps> what a clever pun. Uh, oh, I see. Well, lots to read about in going on in Bishopton, uh, the Bishopton voice. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. The local papers, paper is for your perusal. The catnip mice for the Kahooligans Endowment. I believe that's what these must be. And the tissue paper for deployment ASAP. Well, you're right. We are overdue to get a tissue pit up for these kids, so we will try to do that ASAP. Thank you for your contribution to it. Uh, but my main reason for writing is to say a big thank you for all you do for the cats and kittens, especially as your house does its best to fall down around you. Boy, that is no joke. Um, well, I count myself amongst those who are overjoyed to have the close-ups back. I would like to remind everyone, everything in due time, everyone including myself, love and snoogles, L-E-T-B from the U-K. Well, L-E-T-B from the U-K, uh, thank you. I love everything about this package and your card. It's wonderful. Uh, let's put these over here, I think is where we're putting those. Just have a quick look at the catnip that you have sent for these kittens since they're in a Ziploc, a uh, zipper bag, I mean. Uh, ooh, I think I can smell the catnip. I'm a little stuffed up, but I think I can even smell it through that. Oh, these are cute. They're cute little uh, uh, tiny kickers. They're like tiny cat kickers, each one with a different face. Adorable. You already want one, don't you, Bam? You're going to have to wait, okay? This is for your graduation. She's not actually here looking for one, but she is going to chew on the box. Bam, you are too cute. All right, good work. Oh, good work. Okay. Well, since these are for you guys, and we did have an endowment box going. I know we did. Oh, it's this one right here. Let's put it right there. Okay, good. Nice and easy. All right, let's reach one of these next and see what we have here from Callie's Moms. All right, Callie's Moms. It looks like a drop shipment from somebody uh, on behalf of Callie's mom, so we may not uh, have any note here. Let's find out. Well, no note there. Oh, but there is a note here. Happy holidays, Mr. A, DJ, faculty, alumni, moms, kits, and extended KA family, Discord slash YT, flannel blankets, one out of four for the reserves from Callie's moms. Oh, well, thank you for the reserves. Yes, that's great. Uh, I want to take a look at these. They look like they have something fun printed on them. They look like fun little elephants, perhaps. 
All right, uh, here's some extra tissue. Oh, oh, these are nice. Now, these are not just your standard prepackaged. Uh, this is from Calvadoodle Designs, bibs, bur burping blankets, and embroidery. And it does have little elephants with hearts. Oh, that is adorable. That is going to look so good on a new mom cat's birthing box on the stream. Uh, of course, she'll never use the birthing box. Well, she, I guess we'll find out. I mean, there's still mysteries to be had, even when we start with a picture of the inside of the cat. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. I think this may be another Callie's Moms. You did say one out of four in this. Yes, indeed. Uh, there's also a note here as well. Uh, let's see. The note says, Happy Holidays. Oh, it's the same note. Four out of four. Okay, so we're missing two and three, but I'm sure they'll turn up. This one is from Kids Crafts with Z's. Kids Crafts. Uh, handmade children's items. Easy for me to say. Uh, this one is a bunch of tiny kittens, uh, some of them wearing bows, and there's fish, and butterflies, and strings. Adorable. Also, a very nice little block print. These are going to look so sharp on the stream with that close-up camera that we use in the mom uh, boxes. I love it. Those, those are perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, there may be right here might be the next one. This does feel like it could be a blanket. Oh, it does say Callie's Moms. All right, well, convenient that those all came in similar packaging and were set together. Uh, I think that means that we're still pending one somewhere, though. It is the same note. Happy holidays, Mr. A, DJ, faculty, alumni, moms, kids, and extended KA family, Discord slash YT clan of light is two out of four for the reserves, Callie's moms, Mew. All right, thank you again. This one from A Faithful Stitch, Aw, an Etsy shop specializing in handmade needlework, a faithful stitch. All right. Let's take a look here. Also, wow, this is also going to look fantastic. These are such uh, bold, contrasty prints. Uh, that's wonderful. And uh, also, without the, 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 the ones that we get most of the time, that these plant. By the way, you pick things that are a wonderful material that are like this flannels, because little kittens are born with all of their claws uh, already out. And in fact, they can't retract their claws until they're several weeks old. So if you don't have the right material in there, they just get stuck in it like Velcro because uh, they don't know what to do, which is why we don't put in things like rugs or terry cloth uh, in the, or a lot of times even polar fleece is way too uh, sticky for little tiny newborn kittens. Um, but you sent flannel, which is exactly what we like to use, which is perfect. This this tight uh, woven flannel, not the kind that sticks up a lot like these ancient shirts that I wear. Um, <clears throat> so. Again, uh, and also a real bold print that's going to look great. This one with, here's to be sort of Arctic animals. We have an Arctic fox, which is the best. Also a little penguin and a polar bear and a seal and a sea lion uh, and a killer whale and some fish and some snowflakes. Also going to be absolutely beautiful in the box. Uh, I love it. And nice, I was going to mention the thing I got sidetracked from, the nice finished edges it has because uh, the, the ones that we get most commonly have uh they're just surged just quick surged edges that are left sort of plain uh, which is fine and appropriate considering how often we go through and putting in a lot of work doesn't always seem like it's justified um but uh but yeah they would not not usually nice finished edges like that uh, which are nice and uh finished um okay let's just see one two three four five six seven eight on oh, a whole other stack that is a lot to try to go through tomorrow um Let's see, why don't we do at least a couple more and then we'll get to the rest and we'll just say 11 o'clock is gonna be the Sunday time until further notice. Uh, so let's uh, let's see about that. Okay, but let's, let's try to do just at least these two, all right? We're gonna push ourselves just a little bit. Uh, this one, Kid in the Cat, oh, Callie's mom. All right, hey, look at that. That may uh, be the, the number three out of four. Three is one, I'm guessing, right? It's not, not at all. Wow, this is a rolled up marshmallow thing. Uh, is it a bed, a blanket? It's uh, it's very rainbow colored as well. Wow, that's tightly packed though. I do not want to undo it, but you can see it's the marshmallow bed kind of material. And it says, bed, large, ooh, uh, rainbow colored. Yes, okay, so we have a rainbow bed that's large. It's actually, it's getting pretty worn out, but I, you probably have seen some pictures of the kids in it because it's up in the bedroom and uh, it's where 
Uh, it's where, oh, she sleeps all night. She just gets in that bed and that's her spot now. Um, so this is uh, Happy Holidays, Mr. A, DJ, faculty, alumni, moms, kids, and extended KA family. Okay, the same sort of note. Replacement rainbow marshmallow bed for as you see fit from Callie's moms. Well, thank you so much. <clears throat> Excuse me. I would send the original one with Ocean if she had the room to take it, but it is quite large, as this one will surely be once it is opened. Uh, but wow, what a cool way to have that all packed up, not just vacuum packed and flat like most of them, but vacuumed and rolled. Uh, <clears throat> thank you so much for that. I do love it. Um, maybe maybe it's something we can add to the box to send to Ocean. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, the old one, and that way she'll have something familiar. Uh, we'll see. Oh, isn't this cute? I don't think there's anything on the outside uh, to tell us. No, nope, nothing. Just oh, wait. No, nope, just get an academy. Okay. But this is super cute. DJ's going to love it. It says, enjoy your gift to Maggie and faculty. Merry Christmas from Jody. From Jody and my four kitty cats. Well, Jody and your four kitty cats, thank you so much. What you have sent is an adorable Christmas tunnel, which reminds me that DJ also has some other adorable Christmas tunnels to pick or choose from or just to put into every room in the house. And now that it's officially December, it is about time to get that done. Uh, I mean, Popo Sneets is out, so what are you going to do? Uh, this one looks really cool. It's got a it's sort of a Christmas cookie uh, feel to it, gingerbread. As, and it does have a gingerbread man here, but the tunnel itself, kind of that same color uh, with a furry end. And uh, I see it's got a little dangly bit too. Uh, and it's also got a little tiny Santa Claus and a reindeer up to go with the gingerbread. Super cute. Um, probably when I'm down there sorting out ocean stuff, I will have to put, set aside all the Christmas stuff and make sure that that gets put out sooner rather than later and it might just be up to me at this point since as i was mentioning earlier uh dj is probably not going to be around a whole lot between now and christmas well, she'll be here she's not uh confined to work like she has been sometimes in the past uh but uh i think it's it can be really hard for her uh, if she's working late and then somebody comes in at the last minute or she's on call or all of the above uh she just ends up staying there uh, she doesn't have her own apartment at this hospital like she had at the last one, but they do have an on-call room, which is basically just a spare patient room that's been made up a little extra nice for whoever's on call to crash at if they have to. Um, so uh, my my guess is that she'll be taking advantage of that more often than not. Uh, so, all right, uh, let's let's do that. Let's let's put aside everything else. I know there's still a lot to get through. Um, well. Maybe we can do just one more because I, I want to try to keep it kind of even. And I feel like if I stop now, tomorrow's going to go even longer than today. Of course, I can be really bad about judging that stuff. So uh, who knows? But let's, let's just grab. Uh, there's only one more I can reach from here without getting up. And goodness knows I'm not getting up when I don't have to. Oh, oh, yeah. So this one also just says Kitten Academy. And uh, this will definitely be the last one for today. And I think I might have already buried it away tonight. Okay, apparently I did while I was talking. I thought I was done. There's a note. Oh, there's not a note there, though. I got to dig deeper for that. Got to go deeper. Uh, Mr. A, here are bowls. Oh, we know who this is from. Bowls for Cahoots and her kittens. And these are those nice, uh, large metal bowls with the the, uh, the rubber rims, exactly like we see every class, every class. Clint and NH, as consistent as anything. My goodness, that is wonderful. And I still think that these are some of the best, uh, just practical, wonderful things for these kittens to take home with them. And uh, not only are they useful, and not only do they last a lifetime, but then it's something you can always remember that it came with them, you know? So it's like a lasting memory of, of Kitten Academy, at least, in that way, or as their endowments, anyhow. We'll take a couple out just to show everybody. So there you go. Nice uh, silver um, uh, bowls. Uh, I think they're just stamped steel, probably. Uh, wonderful. So, uh, Clint, thank you so much. I, it's, it's just great to know that um, you're still out there and thinking of us after all these years. It's been years. Uh, thank you so much for that. Um, and I will put it right over here, the endowment box. Please mail the endowment box. 
Okay, now it is definitely time for me to get up and sort this stuff out, put away what we can, uh, put the rest out of the way until tomorrow, and we will pick it up tomorrow at 11 o'clock and wrap it up. <clears throat> I hope, even if we have to go a little long, we went a little long today too, so um, hopefully we can make that work for us uh, going forward. So, all right, let's, uh, let's see, how am I gonna sort all of this? Uh, all right, we'll figure it out. Let's, just gotta do it. Just gotta get into it. Step one, stand up. Oh, it's the hardest step. It's the hardest part. Yeah, up, up and at them. Okay. I see there are no pieces of cake left on the counter, Oshi. Are they in Oshi? I'm uh, definitely gonna have to vacuum. There's gotta be cake everywhere. Uh, where's Oshi? Did she go up to one of her big soft beds? I'm surprised she didn't mailbag with us. <clears throat> More important things to do, I guess. Kittens, 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 yes. Oh, there she is. She's doing her other favorite thing. All day long, she likes to sit in the cat tree in the sunroom and watch the birds at the bird feeder. And that's what she's doing right now. Because that's another of her absolute favorite places to be. I don't see any birds, but she's definitely there waiting for them. <clears throat> it's very rainy today. Not that the birds mind, I guess. They're coming down regardless. Okay. So all this is going downstairs. I don't want to close up the loading box or I'll forget what that's about. <laughs> uh, talking for an hour straight kind of gets my throat going, doesn't it? All right, uh, let's see. This is going to go downstairs too. Definitely want to keep that ocean box on top though. Uh, let's see. These I'm going to keep out. Not like these. All right, that and that. These I can take down. This is going to stay out too. Okay, nice and sorted. Sorted? Sorted or sorted? All right. These all head downstairs. Uh, okay, that can go in there for now. We'll find it. It's going the same way. Easier. Easier to do it like this. Oh, up and at them. Okay, well, we got it. There we go. Hi, Yoshi. You heard me talking about you, huh? You might have. Oh, yeah, I see you trying to ambush my feet. Uh, I saw that. Sorry. You're going to have to be better than that if you're going to catch me. She's been, uh, she's such a kitten. Um, uh, yeah, like, oh, oh, there's another set of bowls that didn't get taken out. Oh, man. Wow. Those are going to have to go downstairs, too. We do always double check these boxes later, too, just so you know. Okay, pretty good so far. Uh, let's see. Now, this should actually go downstairs. I should have put it down. This should go upstairs. Maybe I can send these all upstairs. Yeah, we can send this upstairs. I think that's where the other ones are. And the tissue should go downstairs, though. All right, well, we still got some sorting to do here. We'll figure it all out. Everything will get where it is supposed to go in due time, won't it?
I should mention that ceramic slow feeder bowl that came, uh, I think it was just in last week's mailbag for, uh, for Kahuti, is wonderful. My goodness, it's so well made. And it does exactly what it should do. And I figured out how it works. You pour the food in the top, and then they just they just pull it out uh, of the bottom. So it's really made for dry food. I, I got it sorted out. Uh, I know I was a little confused by it when it when it arrived. And it's just it's wonderful. It works. It's beautiful. It's you know it's just nice to look at in the room. Uh, it kind of hides the food too, which is even nicer. It's just I just love it all around. What a wonderful thing. We we'll tried it on the faculty too to slow them down. Maggie is a little nuts for the dry food herself, and uh, it works quite well there too. Although Maggie's faster at getting the food out of it. <laughs> oh, hey, speaking of feedback. Uh, speaking of feedback on things from previous mailbags, um, I think it was Hell's Dells that sent us the box of like six miniature mince pies. Uh, those things are great. Oh my goodness, you put them in the microwave for just 10 seconds. It makes them nice and warm. And then, uh, these are the little tiny miniature ones, so they're adorable. And uh, I get these, those little tiny uh, spoons that we use for like cat treats and stuff are the perfect size to eat it with. Uh, it's, it's, they're really good. I had no idea. I'm just saying that because I was putting away the new treats that people sent, and I saw the, the rest of the pies in there, and I thought, oh man, I could go for one of those. I'm just piling up everything in the corner for tomorrow so that it's out of the way. Oh, who's in there? Oh, Mayhem's in the second floor of the rocket. Mayhem gets into the, you know, yesterday I found Mayhem in the pod on the wall, just hanging out, taking a nap by herself. And uh, that made me feel real good. You know, it's uh, to see a cat up there in the pod on the wall, uh, having used it after the effort we put in to make it. Not a lot of effort, it's actually pretty easy. But, uh, but you know, the pod was sent by Pat, I think, and uh, that bowl was sent by someone else, so it's everybody, you know, contributed, and it's so nice to see it in use. Right now, though, she's using the rocket, which is also nice to see it in use again. Uh, we didn't really have any place to put it away. It doesn't fit the theme or anything, but... It's here because where else is it going to go for now? Hi. Hi, Mayhem. Okay. Yes, that's been a very popular place, that particular part of the rocket, in fact, for previous kittens. But nobody's really used it since, uh, um, uh, which was a class that was basically living in the rocket. Uh, that was a couple classes ago now, right? I can't, I can't specifically think of which class it was. I'm sure some of you know, though. I can picture the cats, too, up close and, and floofy. Uh, I can't really picture them, though, just vaguely picture them. Uh, well, that's my brain these days. All right, hey, that's it for mailbag. Hang on, I'm not going to end the archive yet, though, because i got to put this stuff away. Okay, now everything's put away, and I can say thank you so much to everybody who sent everything. It's wonderful, and uh, we've still got quite a bit more wonderful to go through, which we will do tomorrow. 
Uh, and she, oh man, she's looking so cute in there. Can I get a picture of this or not? Hi, I see you at the window. Moshi, hi. Oh, that's even cuter. Oh my goodness. I don't think she's going to keep doing that if we do a close up, but we do know that doing a close up has the side effect of ending the recording, so let's try it. Let's just see if she's going to stay there at the window of Popo Sneets. Oshi? Oshi, what are you doing there? Hey. Hi. Hi. Do you have any Sneets for us? Do you? Sis, we have some Sneets for you. You want this? Looks like you do. It looks like you do sitting at the window. Too cute. Very cute. Well, <clears throat> thanks again. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for more mailbag, and we'll see you tonight with a new mom cat. And uh, unfortunately, little Oshi is going to be gone before mailbag tomorrow. So I'm going to miss her so much. My goodness, she has just become the sweetest, most playful. Uh, who was it during mailbag that said she's the best, or on Discord, the best kitten in her class? Uh, I think that's true. Too cute. All right. Well, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.